Hi there, welcome back. In this video I'm just going to show you a few of the Venturi heads that Gideon from Grow Greeny has been sending me over the past few weeks to test on my pond. I've got the two that I consider to be the best for the purpose I'm using them for actually fitted in the pond but I'll show you some of the other ones. Now we've got two main types of design that he sent me. One of them is a reasonably long jet with big holes in and that's meant for heavy flow and good oxygenation. Then there's another one with a load of smaller holes in and that one is designed for a reduced flow but higher pressure and more dissolved oxygen coming out of here. Both of them work pretty fantastically. So this one is slightly different to the one I've got on the pond. I think the one on the pond might be a little bit shorter. I cannot remember. This is A and that one over there is B. Likewise, I think the one I've got on this side of the pond is C and that one is D. Gideon will need that for reference because I forgot to tell him which ones actually work the best on the pond. <laughs> Hopefully he's watching this. Now the likes of either of these fellas attached to the outlet from a gravity fed system pumping clean water back out to your pond would be an unbelievable way to oxygenate the water very 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 quietly as you can hear my trout are absolutely loving the ex extra oxygen in the water and before i finish this video i think i'll chuck some food in you can see just how happy they are so so it's got a two inch screw thread screw thread so it's got a two inch screw thread fitting here female and he sent me the male to go into here and then a two inch pipe just an ordinary well actually a pressure pipe two inch solvent pressure pipe would fit into there if you're using the ordinary solvent pipe you would need a slight reducer but either way you can get it fixed in and that's how I've got them fitted on the pond. That is a really good way to fit them because then if they ever do block up for whatever reason, you just unscrew them and clean them out. You don't need to pull things apart and get the saw out to try and hack through pipes and everything. We'll go to the high pressure one, which is a slightly altered version of that one. These are all pre-production things, by the way, but the ones Gideon has available are on his website and that link is in the video description. Now because I am, by all definitions, a godless idiot, I haven't got any sort of filtration between the pump and this head. So consequently it does block up slightly from time to time. Ah yeah, this wasn't the one with the extended end on. It just had slightly bigger holes which have become a little bit clogged up. Yeah, clean again. That's all it takes to clean it. See right through it now. Uh, and the reason that that has got clogged up over the last week and a half or so is because I don't have any sort of filtration between the pump, which can handle 8 to 10 mil solids, and this head. The pump basically just goes into a, a UV and then straight back out to the pond. You might be asking yourself, with a pond this size, why am I bothering to use UV? Well, I asked myself that question as well, but I bought a huge one for a really good price off one of the wholesalers that I used a few years ago, so I just thought I might as well connect it up, see if it does anything. <laughs> and then upon this size, it's made no difference whatsoever. So the UV is currently switched off. I'm just using the pump to aerate the water. Right, so I'll go and switch that pump back on and you should be able to see a really good aeration effect. If I zoom in, you should be able to see the amount of oxygen that's coming out of there. It's absolutely fizzing. And that's a pretty good flow. Oh, now this one round the other side of the pond is in a blooming 
tricky place to actually get in and film it. But hopefully I can zoom in from here. That one's feeding out through the bigger head with the bigger holes. And that's creating good water movement throughout the pond. I mean, again, you can hear that one fizzing. You can't hear it sucking or slurping, but it's fizzing. And really, that's what you want from a Venturi. Super impressive. Oh, that's, that's probably the better angle. Unfortunately, it's just about to thunder here today, so the light is absolutely terrible for filming. But if I zoom in, you should be able to see just how much air is blasting out of there. That's just an air storm. Okay, so the light's changed a little bit, so I may as well show you this one again. Hopefully this is a little bit more clear. Yeah, that looks better than before. So there you have it. If you're interested in these sorts of Venturis, please check out the links in the video description and in the pinned comment. I'll put links to the Green Genie, not Green Genie, sorry, Grow Greeny, <laughs> Grow Greeny YouTube channel and website. And on the YouTube channel, there's a nation of videos of all the different types of Venturis that have been developed to date. If you're watching this a long time in the future, there's probably a load more as well. I'm very impressed with them and I've used Venturis for decades. I really like the design of these. Uh, they, they just do everything right and they're quiet as well. And that makes a hell of a difference. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, before we go, I did promise that we were gonna uh, see the trout. So I'll chuck a bit of food in and hopefully you'll see some sort of eruption.